Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 19. Here today, we're going to be starting Season 1, Episode 4 of my FIFA 19 Manchester United Ultimate Difficulty Career Mode. In today's episode, we have two matches. We're currently sitting in 6th position with 5 games played. 3 wins, 1 draw and 1 loss. Burnley are currently leading the Premier League with 5 games played under Defeated, which is crazy to see. Four wins, one draw. We're going to be hosting Wolverhampton Wanderers at Old Trafford, the Theatre of Dreams, here today. This fixture was actually played a couple of days ago. It was a 1-1 draw with Fred picking up his debut goal. And um, Jal Martinho, I think, scored the other one for Wolves, um, potentially. But we're going to be facing them first up, and then we face West Ham Uni United. We're going down to London to face them at the London Stadium. Okay, guys, how you doing? Welcome to the first match of today's episode. We're facing Wolverhampton Wanderers. They're going to have a sensational season this year. Mark my words, the practically Portuguese club, if you will, managed to pick up that 1-1 draw. To be fair, it really could have gone either way in real life, that match. Um, they nearly won at the death as well, so we're kind of a little bit lucky to get away with some sort of points. But hopefully we can outright try and win this match and uh, change and give our own sort of alternative history. If you guys are still enjoying the series, feel free to le leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments, feedback and suggestions, uh, transfers, players you'd like me to sign. And guys, of course, as always, you're more than welcome to leave a dislike on the video if you're not enjoying the series and would like to see something else. Let me know in the comments, leave a dislike, that's why the, the button is there. But they've signed the cells, which is an interesting proposition. Paul Pogba with the Ronaldo chop sees... Oh, Dabala rattles the crossbar and the cells clears. Romelu Lukaku with the back heel finds... Dabala, a nice overlapping run with Usman Dembele. Dembele cuts back, trying to find the inside man. Kante, Pogba sees Dabala one on one. <laughs> Never fear, Dabala is here. Paulo Dabala makes it all one nil. Just before the 14th minute, Dabala breaking away and hugs his former Juventus compadre. 1-0 at Old Trafford, the theatre of dreams. We start off the scoring, 1-0. I could have gone with the finesse, but I started to cut inside and sort of hit it down the uh, the right side of goal. Dabala scores his third goal of the Premier League. Come on, United! Wolverhampton Wanderers on the ball. I still am ignoring whether or not I should do a third career mode with him, or maybe Newcastle. That'll be cool. Johnny's been sent through here. Johnny. Oh, the time has just missed. The tackle's just missed time from Eric Bailly. Bailly. Oh, Big Dave's going to try and throw this one out. Dabala. Let's try and create a counter attack. Romelu Lukaku on the ball. Finds the pass to Alexis Sanchez on the left hand side. Alexis Sanchez puts it at the back post for Dembele, and it's just wide. Dembele somehow wins it. Oh my god, what a ball from Romelu Lukaku. Alexis Sanchez puts it forward. Sanchez, Romelu on the chest, put it at the back post. Ugh. Wolves on the attack. Also, guys, I've been reading in the comments, I've been saying Kabuli, like the former defender from Tottenham, um, for uh, Kulabali. Apparently, that's how you t specifically say his name. I just sort of read it and assumed it as um, uh, Kabuli. It's Kulabali, kind of like Eric Bailly, kind of. Sanchez! Oh, how's he come up with the header there? Alexis Sanchez makes it 2-0. Now, let's talk about Alexis Sanchez will really qu quick. He starts at an 87 overall. He's actually already gone down one. He's an 86-rated player now. Turning, he's, th he's 30 years of age. Should I sell Sanchez in January, or should I give him the entire season? Let me know in the comments. If I get a massive offer for him, 
I don't know. I might have to let him go. We've got Martial to easily replace him. We might strengthen around the pitch. But let me know. Sanchez, should he stay or should he go? First goal of the Premier League. I'm pretty happy with that, though. It's episode four. Good on you, Sanchez. Okay, it's time to make some substitutions. We're going to be bringing on Marcus Rashford. We're going to be bringing on Hyung Min Sun. And we're also going to be bringing on uh, Anthony Martial as well. Also, another comment I should address as well. A couple of people have been saying that, why did you sell this player? Why did you sell that player? Um, never fear. We can always bring players back. Just because we sell them in one season doesn't mean we, can, doesn't mean we can't not bring them back. Like, if Lingard rockets up in stats, he's a Manchester man through and through. We're obviously going to bring him back. Maybe with the likes of Fred as well. Maybe next season. Let me know. But anyway, a 2-0 thumping is the result here today. Okay, guys, welcome. We have a simulation match really quick against Bournemouth away. It's currently the third round of the EFL Cup. It's not a very strong team. Bournemouth, I think we're easily going to win this one. I'd rather get to the knockout rounds and play them against top other sides because we're just going to get bogged down in fixtures. So we have the first simulation match of the season. I can't see myself auto-resolving uh, any time in the future. Kulabali picks up a yellow card. Oh, no. It's not looking good in our cup run, but it's a 2-1 victory. Joshua Kimmich and Dabala make a 2-1. Jermaine Defoe claims the second. Okay, guys. How you doing? Welcome to the second match of today's episode against West Ham United. Jamie Vardy is currently the top goal scorer, and Tottenham Hotspur lead the pack. Burnley are currently in second. We are currently in third. We're going down to London in our pink kit. We're going to be facing the Hammers here today after on the bounce of a 2-0 victory. Okay, guys, how you doing? Welcome to the first match, or second match of today's episode. The first match against West Ham. I've got to love the stadium in FIFA. In real life, it's quite controversial, <laughs> to say the least. But we're going to be facing West Ham United here today. Another interesting club down in London. Plenty of money. And the Hammers are definitely going to try and make an impact. Man City a third. Chelsea a fifth. Liverpool in sixth. So it looks like Fabianski in goal. I recognize that player face. So let's have a look at West Ham and see if we can tactically sort of pressurize someone. So, and expose. So Arnautovic up front. Lanzini, uh, P Perez, Sanchez, Cresswell, Zaboleta. Um, Masaku, okay, okay, okay. Felipe Anderson, the former Lazio man, is an amazing player. We've got to watch out for him. And also Alnautovic. It was actually kind of rumored to be joining Old Trafford at some point. Uh, Felipe Anderson, Lanzini, Marco. All right, all right. Let's get stuck into the Hammers. Uh-oh. Lucas Perez, the former Arsenal man, back in London. <gasps> what? Out of nowhere, my Austrian brother... Ah, uh, Nautovic makes it 1-0, just for the ninth. Oh my god, what an amazing ball in from Lucas Perez, the former Arsenal man. Ah, uh, Nautovic scores his first goal of the season. I'm already finding it hard to contend him, contain him, fuck. Lucas Perez, again, I've just been done on this right-hand side. Koulibaly put in a tackle. What is that? What are these balls in? Oh my god. The diving header. The flying Dutchman, Arnautovic, makes it 2-0 before the 14th. And we're just leaking goals at the back. What is this? That's unreal. Why has he just fallen over there, the defender? That's bonkers, ultimate difficulty. Come on. We are Manchester United with the Red Devils. Let's push for it. Dybala finds Usman Dembele and slices it. Fast. Fabianski, the former Arsenal man. There's a lot of former Arsenal players in this. Jack Wilshere. Lucas Perez. What a shot from Usman Dembele. Man, he is dragging us to a title this year. He's playing so well for me. Usman Dembele scores his fourth goal of the season. It's great to see his game face as well. Oh my god. Close it down. Eric Bailly. Oh, what is this? Having an absolute stinker today. West Ham oozing with confidence. Winning every single challenge. 
No way. Lanzini! Oh! I am just being destroyed in this match. It is written. And Lanzini is giving a nice little kiss to uh, Sanchez's back. Mm, thanks, Sanchez. You've got a lovely back. Mm, five goals for the season. Fuck off. Joshua Kimmich. Eric Bailly. Oh, my God. Eric Bailly, what are you doing? Oh, that's counter-attack, for the love of God! Perez, Lanzini, Arnautovic. <laughs> that he went in. Dembele, come on, United. We're not down and out for the count just yet. We've come back in bigger leads. In career mode. Dembele, Pogba is very unluckily denied there. It should be 3-2. Rattles the crossbar. That's a good winner. Oh, my God. In the second half now. Lucas. No, oh, get it out. I'll take that. It's a corner kick for West Ham United. We're going to make some substitutions. Kante's on a yellow. Um, shit. We're going to bring on Hyung Min Sun. We're going to bring on Martial. And we'll start off like that. Hyung Min Sun gets dispossessed in the midfield there. There's so much space with Joshua Kimmich on the overlap there. Joshua Kimmich cuts back. Trying to find Kante. Trying to find Dembele. We need some space. Hit it! Oh, it's gone wide. Anthony Martial cuts back. Paul Pogba. Romelu Lukaku. And he's been closed down. Man, we've thrown way too many players forward here. What is this? This is absurd. 4-0 is the scoreline. This is the biggest scoreline I've conceded. This could be potentially the biggest blowout, my biggest defeat of FIFA 19. And that's it, guys. The full-time whistle has blown. We have lost to West Ham United here today, 4-1. I'm embarrassed. I'm disappointed. We shouldn't be doing that. That's the biggest defeat I have had in FIFA 19. To be fair, I'm kind of surprised it took nine episodes to have a massive defeat like that overall across Manchester United and Real Madrid. We started off this episode so well. We were trailblazing. 2-0 against Wolves. We came back in that. A 4-1 victory. We gave Arnautovic the goal, the, his first hat-trick. And an amazing performance. Oh, that sucks. Okay, well, what we need to do now is regroup, regather. Be cool, calm, and collected and push on and make sure this doesn't happen again. But that just shows you. You give the team an inch of a chance, they will punish you nine times out of ten. And, and Eric Bailly just had a poor, poor match, along with most of the boys, just not getting their passes off properly. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below players you would like me to sign. If you're not enjoying the series, feel free to leave a dislike. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box these days to get all the notifications for the channel. You have to click subscribe, of course, and the bell to join the notification squad i do enjoy reading those comments if you guys want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games maybe some psn and xbox codes to buy packs for ultimate team or maybe just some games i really do recommend checking out my affiliation link g2a there's some really good prices so even just going looking around to be honest anyway uh the patreon stinger there as well come and join the community on steam my name has been cmc stay tuned for more videos on the channel make sure to take care of yourselves have a fantastic rest of your day my name has been cmc good bye Mares whips it into the box. Royce, that is just ridiculous with the layup. Marco Royce.